All right, ladies and gents, I'd like to present to you on Armour of Forger, the new map we've been working on. Mostly done by Potato Aim, we have done the Helmand Province map. Starting with Lashkagar, this is one of the main cities in the main capital. And when the sap map was down, all the roads are where the roads are, the river is where the river is, and the cities are where the cities are. So everything is or would be accurate. You got the main city, one of, there's two main cities. We're going to have a drive through soon. You've got villages. Cave systems. Opium factories. course poppy fields little bases dotted around outposts farms more villages another main city at the top some powers being added to the region there is of course sand another little outpost at the top some rundown areas where cannabis is growing which is where they're digging for oil we have drug room 4 which inspired the whole map because Mr. Potato the modder that did this uncle was on that mission in early 2000 the mission where the guys had to get extracted by Apache helicopters because there was no other helicopters available. They was holding on to the sides. Pretty insane. Power station. Downed AC-130. Everything planned in mind for Armour of Forger. Ops. Look at the views on this thing, man. It looks insane. Okay, we're going to have the civilian airport here. There's some buildings and things being in progress in the works at the minute, so that needs some updates. We figured rather than releasing a full map with just a square in the middle, like most people do, we're bringing you a full map. This is Camp Rhino. You've got a military base at the end. We'll show you it at night time soon. All right, boys and girls. So this is the Helmand province. This is Lashagar. This is where the stuff is taken from. As you can see, the river that runs through is the same river that we've got. So when we was looking for uh, a bit of inspiration on here, you can actually go into Street View. But, you know, the Google van doesn't quite make it around Afghanistan <laughs> very well <laughs> without having some issues. So you do get, like, phone pics off people. Now, this is the sort of thing you get. A lot of brush, a lot of sand. This is all around Helmand Province. A nice uh, thing there. This is the city. So, as you can see, it's got the two main road going all the way through, like ours. A bit more green than you would have expected, so that'll explain the green. But look how flat it is, man. We made it as flat as possible, but like I said, it needed the odd hill. So, Helmand is a lot of this. A lot of fields. Okay, you've got two main roads. Market towns, poppy fields. This is what we was going with here, so a lot of sand. And uh, as you can see as well, you know, we got roads and things up, we've got infrastructure, rivers, trees, some hills. So we've done our best in that regard. This is my own building stuff. This is a mercenary base. My group is called the Task Force Mercenaries. So we needed a mercenary base. I did this at the back. And the map project was getting a bit massive for just one dude, so um I jumped on to help and we can show each other's files and things like that. A little mercenary base. You got a little prison back here. Brains, all built by containers, like a ragtag mercenary base. Offices, barracks. Got some beds for the boys. Got a bit of storage. Dark in that. We got a place for ops. So you can plan the ops from here if you're more of a PMC group. 
and the actual map is on the sandboard down there and you can place the flags actually on there for missions got a bit of defense going on workshop helipad you got a firing range back here places to get all your gear and equipment bombs etc this is the prison this is what I spent so long doing everything's custom built so if there's any problems do message me and we can have a look so you've got your entrance you got your little guard houses you got your car park you got the barracks area for the um, officers like the guard stations where they sleep you got a little power station there so you can do prison break operations you know, there's a lot of police stuff and things being added, as well as mods, so you can add all that on here and do that. Uh, the church. This was an old fire station building that's been retextured for more of a uh, Middle Eastern look. It's been boarded up. Inside, we've got the prison mess hall. Everything placed and built by us. We go through. You got your card reader going up the stairs. You got your meeting rooms, little offices, and things like that. You obviously, you got the place where all the prisoners can work during a day. This is the beast of a guard tower in the middle. This thing is absolutely massive. It's got lights and guns, an armored door. Then you got all the stairs leading to the top. You got like the recreation yard, a bit of football, places to sit for the gangs to have meetings, places to uh, get wench. So this is all to represent. This is called Reznov Prison. This is all to represent sort of rundown, um, Cold War era sort of site. It all goes with this area over here. This is where the Soviet Union used to be. So it is all smashed up, run down, wrecks everywhere. Burnt out buildings, empty yards. A bit of remnants of the old bases. It can be used for whatever you want. It won't be, of course, complete without a secret CIA base. But you can tell it's a CIA base because it's got glowing caravans. But that's probably because uh, some lighting issue. <laughs> we'll get on that, don't worry about it. So it looks pretty cool in here. What CIA base would be without a torture area for prisoner and HVT missions? You go into the prison, get your little guard area, and then this is your full prison. Things the prisoners to do. A lot of cells. Got a little place for the guards. Also, conveniently placed for if there's a prison escape. You get your solitary confinement for those naughty prisoners. And it goes through to another one. So this is a 1950s, 60s prison. Sort of fall into bits. Everything you need in there. Beds, toilets, sinks. Couple have got mirrors, posters. Solitary confinement again. Little guard place. Got some plumbing and stuff. And what's prison without toilets and a shower block? There you go. I'm going to have to find some soap to put down there. The changing room. So this will be your first stop. When you get off the bus at the front gate. That's Reznov prison. All goes in with the sort of um, early Soviet era stuff over here. I got a couple of hills and stuff, and this is Camp Bastion. So, Camp Bastion, what we've done is actually Camp uh, Shuraback, which is um, 
former Camp Bastion. There was a British Army airbase, city of Lashkar in Helmand Province, Afghanistan. Four miles long, two miles wide, um, it was a busy airfield and field hospital. Accommodation for 2,000 people. Medical groups, operations centers, education centers. United States military used Bastion Airfield for their aircraft as well. And if you go on the images up, this is what we was taking it from. Busy area. So enough for 2,000 people around there. This was the size of it. So the size of Camp Bastion was the same size as our whole map. So that should put it into some uh, perspective. Little dudes playing ball. There it is, boys and girls. Back to the video. This is probably some of my finest work <laughs> in my 50 or 60 hours of map making experience that I have only on this when Potato spent probably about 500 hours on map making. We've got the work area. And it even had McDonald's, fuel stations, you know, places um, to eat, sleep, whatever. It's like a mini city. So you got all the workplaces. This is for the officers and things like that, the higher ups. You got all your inside beds, and barracks, all the office buildings where all the paperwork gets done. Good little places for briefings as well. Little kitchen cafe thing at the back. You got all the fuel containers. Places for your helicopters to land, refuel, rearm. Get repairs. The air traffic control tower. Leading into three hangars. All lit. Fuel and things inside there as well. And storage. A couple of radars. Your main entrance is there. And it's also got a mechanics workshop. All the Humvees that need repairing all the time. You've got the car storage and things like that. Stuff being worked on. And then one of my greatest moments was these. Uh, we've got the kill house. So you'll be able to come in here, run through your mates, get the best time. Watch out for those cheeky targets. And then, of course, your briefing area again for the main military operations. The actual map there that you'll be able to place with this actual map. So we're at Camp Bastion right now down here. Stand up here with the briefings. If the weather's nice. Medical area. Hospital. And then this is where the troops stay. You got some toilets, showers, things like that. The main runway you should be able to get anything down there. So, boys and girls, two main cities. We've got the scrapyard. Poppy fields, drug factories, villages, desert areas. Oh, there is a full street light system. Again, Merc base at night. Prison. The old era area. Bastion looks so good at night. You see from the runway as well. All done properly with the lights there. Oil refinery. Looks so good. This is the cannabis processing place. We through the cities. All the main roads are lit, the dirt roads are not. 
Lashkagar itself. So if you're looking at this area, the map's quite massive. It's probably the full size of Ireland if Ireland had no ocean. So that full square map you get on Ireland is that. But there's something everywhere. And we're just going to drive down here. Yeah, driving past the old Soviet era, bit of the minute. Got the Merc base up there, looks insane. Prison. Yeah, we'll just cut across. So we've got all the sand, and all the terrain will handle like it's sand. you got a river, and you have got bridges. This will be one of the main roads. Squidoosh! Right, we're into Camp Bastion, boys. Look at this place. So not zooming through on a GM camera. You can see how big these places actually are. And that is Helmand Province. And it is available right now in the Mod Workshop. So, get it downloaded, get some ops done, get playing. Let us know what we need to add, uh, fix. And uh, I hope you enjoy the map. Like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one.